a review, it's going to go to sale uh, on Tuesday, potentially, um, is 2015 East Sargent. Why do we pick this property? Um, this property has huge potential for a fix and flip. Um, to give you an example, I sold a property about three blocks down for $100,000. Now, assuming that that house needs a full rehab in this particular neighborhood, where there are high increasing values, um, high rents, close to center city, the margin for this particular type of property is huge if you can get it at the price that we're looking at. So your as is price range, a typical foreclosure seller, bank owned property is gonna go for 130 to 150,000. Now the guy who bought the, the, the property three blocks down for 100,000, he got a steal. Um, because properties in this, in this neighborhood go for anywhere from 250, 300,000, even farther up um, in, Fish, in the Fishtown area. I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Fishtown, but Fishtown is about as hot as you can get at the moment. So what we've looked at is the median area, area value is about $270,000 on this property. So assuming that you can bid 130 to 150,000, assuming that the house is vacant or occupied, assuming that worst case scenario, you've got a, a, a 1800 square foot home, you can pretty much make some assumptions if you know, or if you're working with a contractor or um, you're working with a licensed um, uh, professional who can, who can uh, a home inspector or something like that, who can sort of give you an idea of what's, what could happen with that property. What could you do if you gutted it down to the studs and rebuilt it? Um, there's sort of some fixed costs when you're talking about a row home in Philadelphia. You, you could spend an order to amount some money, but you don't necessarily need to. You just, you'd have to talk with the contractor about that. But that's where you have the ability to have a bit of margin in that property. <clears throat> Go on to the next one.